Hey y'all, it's Michelle from Farm Life Outfitters. How about a little catch up video? There has been a lot happening and I, I videoed a little bit of everything that has been going on, but it has seemed so daunting to me to sit down and actually edit this video, compiling what's been going on over the past probably month since we have really put out a video um, that was current for you guys. So um, first of all, let me say, welcome to all the new people uh, we hit over 5,000 subscribers this week and so that just thrills my heart that 5,000 of you want to see what we're doing um day to day and so welcome thank you for being here um we are honored that you are on this journey with us as we've said in past videos we love our youtube family like we have met so many people and have made so many lifelong relationships through YouTube that um, it would be really sad if YouTube had never happened to us. So thank you for being here. First off, this has been an incredibly hard um, season for livestock for us. Um, I guess probably that was the main contributor to the reason why I did not feel very inspired to sit down and um, do any update videos for a while because um, although we have shared many hard things on this platform before um, something about this season seemed really really difficult and like heartbreaking and um just like we were trying to survive it and and we you know all I said was true just a few minutes ago about YouTube and the relationships that have been formed through YouTube and the support and the love but there's a lot of nastiness here as well. And I'm sure you guys are familiar with that. And um, to be honest, I just didn't even feel like putting it out there. I didn't feel like being ridiculed or told, oh, you should have done this or you're a horrible person because you didn't do that. And that happens <laughs> a lot. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's probably a big reason why this has taken a little while to do um so it, just to sum up um uh sydney's goat gave birth we believe she gave birth early um we got to see the whole thing we actually filmed the whole thing and um we tried to keep the baby alive and the baby did not live um so i don't feel very good about this i don't feel very hopeful about it um He's just declining more and more. Um, she had him yesterday mm. afternoon. So it's been, he's been alive for 24 hours. Um, so I um, hope to give y'all a good update in the next video, but more than likely um, it won't be. So um, just please say a prayer for my little girl who um, we'll be a little heartbroken. She's she's a big girl. She knows this is part of farm life, but at the same time, it never gets easier. This part of it, so for anybody, but especially for her, because this is her her animal. So, so uh, then we had a big flock of sheep. Like we have we have added to our our flock um, for the last six months and um everyone came to us pregnant uh we thought and um several of them got sick several of them did not do well given birth we don't know if they were too old or um 
they just weren't in very good health um we feel like we made a few mistakes as well like it's just it was just a hard hard season so let me just leave it at that um then we have some really joyous things that happened like betty our milk cow gave birth um to a beautiful calf who we named amelia she's a heifer like we were so we have been praying for a heifer for all this time and we finally got one and um she had a little bull calf last year so we were excited to get a heifer this year Hi, okay so sydney is doing chores for daddy Hold on, hold on. Sydney's, Sydney's doing chores for daddy and what what did you just come down here and say very excitedly but very quietly because I was surprised. I was gonna surprise you <laughs> so you did you think it was like a lamb or something yeah I did. when I said I thought you were gonna say someone guess had, what yeah <laughs> but it was Betty Betty our milk cow had her calf this morning and we're not expecting this this early but that's exciting. I, Hopefully it's not too late. I thought um, sweets the sheep had had lambs. And what are we hoping for? A girl. We're hoping for a girl. We have been praying for a heifer calf from Betty the milk cow. So we're going to go up here and see. We're not going to get too close, but oh, Delilah. This is our new puppy, Delilah. This is Jacob's offspring, and we have enjoyed her so much already. Uh, she's a really fun. She is a really fun pup. Hey, Daddy. Hey. Guess what? What? You got to guess. <laughs> what? Baby, baby chickens. No. Well, there is, but not. <laughs> hey, let's go over here. Okay. Um, uh, Daisy, Daisy has a cat. No. <laughs> what? Betty had a cat. Yes. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's been a while. What do you say? Uh, it's it's new. It's yeah. a new calf. I mean, brand new or last night? He's still wet. Okay. She's still lick, licking him off, yeah. or her. We hope it's a her, but we don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So you know what this means, right? Milk. Things just got like enormously busier around here. <laughs> oh, baby. Why are you trying to climb that? You're not allowed to here. And so Amelia will be a another milk cow for us um, in the future, and uh, so we we're just excited about her. We decided to go a different route. Like if you guys know, if you are familiar with homesteading, if you're homesteading yourself, you probably know. Like you get real excited about something, and then something happens, and it makes you change your mind, or you know as believers we we know that god guides us and so like we may be headed in one direction and then god is like no let's veer off this way this is the way that you need to be going and so we try to be very obedient to that um there have been times obviously that we have not been obedient but one of the areas <laughs> um that we feel like god has really led us in a different direction is our, our cows um, and I know that sounds funny probably to some people to think that God would guide you about your cows but um, we have had a a long waiting list for a herd share um, we have a herd share we've had one for a couple of years now but we've had a long waiting list um, because we only have one milk cow and she only gave so much milk and um, so we decided to sell our Dexters, um, which are like, it's been very heartbreaking because those are such awesome cows. We love them. They all had names. They've all given birth here a couple of times. They um, are gentle and like truly gentle giants. Like they are just, ugh, like it's, it's so sad just to even talk about it. But they um 
we decided to sell them in order to purchase two new dairy cows and um, the dairy cows are it was quite an experience going to get the dairy cows <laughs> um, so we had to go to Virginia to get them because they are rare it is hard to find some good dairy cows that meet the standards that we want um, and so we went to Virginia met a very nice family in Virginia um, and they came from a really great home so we were very pleased with them uh, spent the day up there just getting them like you know getting them loaded and they were very hesitant about that and um, all that got on the interstate to come home and had a flat on the trailer with the cows on I-85 like it was horrible and we were stuck um, on the side of the road for quite some time several hours and um, thankfully the weather was not horrible um, bless my husband's heart he, he knows how to do everything and so he had to do everything um, we <laughs> it was just a mess it was a mess like people whizzing by not moving over um, at one point Adam thought that someone was gonna hit us and um, and so he got everybody out and we actually went down the bank past the guardrail um, and and sat in the woods um, away from the interstate while he had to get help from um, the uh, state Virginia State Police who who helped him get to a place that could fix the tire and come back and all that stuff. So anyways, um, all that to say, we got our cows home and everyone was absolutely out of their minds, exhausted. But since then, doing great. Milk cows are doing great. We love them. They are producing well for us. We're able to have, oh gosh, I don't even know how many people are on our herd share now. I think we have like maybe 15 15 families on our herd share so we are able to provide good milk to our community and that makes us feel really good our building our farm stand that you saw us building i know we got several comments from people saying now that is some farm stand that is humongous and so maybe it's more like a farm store i guess we should call it instead of a farm stand because it is going to be multi-purpose building um we are eventually going to have our cows milked up there behind the the store um and everything about the milk uh milking process will be up there and we will have um the storage for the milk for our herd share and everything up there um we're going to do chicken butchering off of the side we have one um shed that is specifically for that animal processing side um and uh they recently just poured a concrete slab down for it it is it's really really nice we've already been using it as like a gathering place like for our church group and for when friends come over or just for our family when we need to take a break from the day we go out there it's real cool it's breezy through there we put hammocks up it's been really nice so we are really excited about the the store up there uh, we have lots of plans for it as far as like we're gonna have a kitchen in there um we are going to sell our produce obviously through uh, out there this summer and um we might be enclosing some of the walls up at some point uh so we've got lots to to do out there and um it's going to be a multi-purpose building so um a couple weeks ago i went with a friend of mine who actually grew up amish um to an amish wedding she invited me to an amish wedding so i went out of town and um what that was like that was a really amazing experience something i had never thought i would ever get to do um obviously a lot of people don't get to go to amish weddings and so that was really a very cool experience i learned a lot um yeah it was really really neat so i was excited to get to do that only downside is that my family um 
missed me. I missed them as well, obviously. And when we got back, um, I made the very tough decision to not attend the uh, Homesteaders of America conference in Tennessee, which is next week, actually. And um, we, I was so excited. I already had a place booked. Um, you know, I had all my stuff ordered to go and everything. I was very prepared to go. But um, it was one of those situations where, like, I really had to evaluate, you know, is this better for my business or is this better for my family? And I, I had to go with my family, of course. And I think there's been times, like, just being fully transparent with you guys, I think there's been times in my life where I have put my business first um, over the past five years. And... And, you know, even though it was disappointing to me to miss out on this, it was, it felt really rewarding. Like I was, I was walking, um, in my convictions about my family and, uh, and who comes first and what my priorities are. And so it, it felt good to make that decision, even though I really hate, I'm going to miss it. So if you guys are going, I hate, I'm going to miss you, but I will see you in October in Virginia at the Homesteaders of America conference there. So, um, speaking of five years in business, it was our five year anniversary on May 3rd. Uh, for Farm Life Outfitters. So our t-shirt brand, Farm Life Outfitters, this is where this all started. If, if y'all are new and you didn't know, uh, you know, what, what does Farm Life Outfitters even mean? Uh, we started five years ago, May 3rd, 2016, as a farm and country apparel shop, online shop. And we do not have a brick and mortar. We get asked that a lot. Um, we do events, but we do not have a brick and mortar. We have an online store. It's just farmlifeoutfitters.com. And we have mostly graphic tees. We have some hats and some um, locally made pottery, um, just bags and earrings and things like that. And um, I love it. I still love it. Five years and I've learned a lot from it. It has grown and evolved and it has brought us YouTube and it has brought us lifelong friendships with people um, who we met through this business and um, it's grown me as a businesswoman and it's grown me as a mom and I don't know it's just there's just so much to it and I'm just excited about it so um, and it's still evolving so I, I'm really excited to see where God takes Farm Life Outfitters um, in the next five years so but um, all that to say we have a few new we have actually five new products in our shop so if you guys want to go check those out you're more than welcome to um, We've got just uh, three new t-shirts that are really cute. We've got a butter shirt and a scripture shirt and um, and then a shirt that says, Love Thy Farmer. And that one's my favorite. But um, And then we've got a new hat and a new bag. So I'm excited about all of that new stuff if you want to check it out. And then the most recent thing is a couple of days ago, we traveled with our friends, the Hollers, and so the land and Justin and Rebecca Rhodes to um, one of their members in their uh, membership group to uh, their house to help them get their garden started. The dad is um, has cancer. Uh, he is on the mend, we believe, but um, the the family has just um, struggled over the past. Uh, you know, six to nine months while they've been dealing with this. They've had to sell their livestock. Um, they just needed some help. Just needed some help getting their homestead back on its feet. And so um, we were so excited when Justin and Rebecca asked us to go and do this as a service project. And um, we love it. We, we were all about it. We love um, being able to help people. I think that's one thing that the homesteading community does super, super well is um, come together to help each other. And, um, so we are really excited. I'm going to actually put a link to the GoFundMe for them in the description. So if you guys have not donated already, we strongly encourage you to do so and bless this family, um, with your donations. And, uh, 
um anyways so you'll get to see if you have not seen justin's video and jason's video they've already put up videos and i believe ben and meg will put up a video as well um i've just got a few clips here that i'm showing you guys of what we did but um i did not film a whole lot that day and that about catches us up so it's been quite uh um it's been quite a few months and a lot has gone on and I have missed, I have missed interacting with you guys. I really have and I hope to do better about this because I don't want the summer to go by without me being able to share with you what we're working on and, um, you know, our customers and like hopefully I'll get to talk to some of our customers on camera and things like that just so you guys can meet some of these local people that we love and um you know see what i'm canning this summer and see what we're doing with our business and that kind of thing so i hope you will stick around with us and um i look forward to talking to you guys more all right y'all have a great day